Lifestylers, thank you so much for clicking on my channel today. If you're new here, girl, stop what you're doing, hit the red subscribe button, and become a part of the fam. If you're a returning subscriber, hey girl, hey, listen, in today's video, we're going to be talking about what's new in my closet thrifted finds. I went thrifting for some fall and winter coats, specifically for coats. So if you want to see what I got, see what's new in my closet, stick around. Listen, I started thrifting back in 2019, and I fell in love with thrifting, you guys. I was specifically um the stores wasn't giving your girl what she needed as far as her style craving my sense of style um they just didn't have it in the store because i like to be I, my sign own signature style is um streetwear i love streetwear but i'm gonna mix masculine um and feminine together and girl i couldn't be, i couldn't find it in the store so i said let me go try this thrifting thing and there's a stigma around thrifting a lot of people um talk about the smell at the stores they talk about um i've heard some people say um it's only a place where people are in a need um but that's just this that's blah 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 <laughs> blah 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 um i fell in love with thrifting okay because it was like retail therapy for me um i could go in there and i can find stuff with new tag um, new with tags still on it um and gently use of course i'm not going to get something that is just running to the ground because that's not my style that's not my look that i'm going for unless i'm going for that look but when i tell you like if you know how to shop for your specific style well first you have to know your own signature style if you know your style you girl thrifting is the place that you need to be um if you know how to shop for your body type those are things that some people don't know so they steer away from that but as a personal um brand stylist that is one of the, some of the things that i teach um the women and men that um come into my program so my framework is i want to make sure that you know your body type i want to make sure that you know what clothes fit you what fits your silhouettes what type of fabrics and stuff fits your silhouette versus you just going into the store picking things girl because we shop with purpose our money needs to go fur further <laughs> you know what i'm saying our money needs to go further than what well, you want to get your cost per wear is what, i guess what i'm trying to say you want to get your cost per wear out of your things and specifically i go into the thrift stores um when i'm using when i'm specifically looking for something again you want to shop with purpose you always want to shop it for purpose whether you're going in the thrift store or not so um this specific day I was going thrifting and I knew that I was looking for fall winter coats. Um, so I had I'm gonna put up on the screen. So let me see. I'm looking at my notes, you guys. Make sure I'm staying on task and telling you guys what I need y'all to know. So like I said, uh, um, like I said, I, I talked about my own sense of style. When knowing your sense of style, it makes it easier when you go into the thrift stores. So um, you guys. I did a video called um i don't get dressed for zoom but i do get dressed from the waist up and i teach you how to shop in the thrift store because i went to the thrift store to pick out some pieces specifically for zooms and lives because again girl right now as we talking i'm dressed from the waist up and i just got on some tights on on the bottom so i'm gonna i'm gonna put on um, the first coat that i ever thrifted on the screen you should be watching now on this side or that side whatever girl editing girl wherever she puts it at but i got this wool coat you guys um this wool trench coat and um it was it's it's 100 wool and i got it for ten dollars and fifty cent girl let's yeah ten dollars and fifty cent and i did have to get it clean so i paid 19 dollars. so roughly we we're looking at a 40 dollar uh, 100 percent wool coat like i think that's a steal you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's a steal but i also know i wanted to add a black one to my closet and i also wanted to add a black and white mix to my closet so this is what i decided to do um it's 2024 now but it was in last year 2023 when i went to the thrift store when i picked these items up so i found um the next uh, the first item that i found is a trench coat it's kind of more it's thinner than the uh, wool coat that i got i think you can classify it as like a raincoat it doesn't have that plastic raincoat feel but it does have like a water repellent um on this on this coat so you should be looking at it on the screen as you're looking at it on the screen you guys when i tell y'all um i looked at this coat even though the belt was missing, I was like, I still can make it work because I don't use the belts anyway. And I only paid $5.50 for this coat. Um, and it's a size 16, or well, women's size 16, regular size. So the next item, you guys, that we're going to be talking about is this black. Again, it should be on the screen. You should be looking at it on the screen. It's the black um, Donatello Sport 
um, trench coat. You guys, when I tell y'all I Googled this thing, and this thing was going for $129 to $250 brand spanking new. So, girl, when I tell you this is luxury, and I only, guess how much I played, paid? I'm trying to show you on the screen how much I pay, but I want you, <laughs> before it start, before it shows, before I tell you, I need you guys in the comment how much I paid for this. Grab, listen, brrr, drum roll. I paid $9.99 for this coat, and this coat is, um, it is wool, 100% wool, you guys, 100% wool. 100%. Did y'all hear what I said? 100% wool. No blends, no anything. So I Googled it. Like I said, it's, it's a Donatello Sport um, women's jacket. It's kind of, you can see on the side, I sh I'm showing you where there is, like um, on the side and where it, it kind of tailors to your waist. On both sides, it go all the way around. It tailors to your waist. When I tell you it's so feminine, it's so chic, it's like a Jackie O um trench coat so the next item you guys i picked up was um the blazer it's a deep red blazer um it's made by lands ends and it's 75 percent wool 25 percent cashmere baby this is another piece of luxury i call luxury luxury some people say like designer for me is not luxury luxury is is the way it, if it makes you feel um it's the feel of a thing and they don't have to do it clothes it could be going to the store picking up girl i go to um like retail therapy going to the thrift store that's luxury to me because it's it's therapy it's definitely retail therapy but you guys like i said it's 75 percent wool 25 percent cashmere baby that's luxury Okay, and guess how much I paid for it? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. $4.75. Why? Because it was on it was half off. I think um all women blazers and stuff like this is around eight dollars. But again, I got it for half off, which was four dollars and seventy-five cent. And online when I looked at it, it's going for ninety-three dollars up to $163. So this is a women regular size 14. When I tell y'all, it's a little snug, but your girl is on her weight loss, and she gonna she gonna wear it. She gonna wear it. I'm wearing it now, but I'm just saying it's gonna even fit in it <laughs> even better once these, we drop these pounds. So, and I, of course, I'm gonna get all these items clean. And you have to pay a little. You know, I think the cleaner that I go to is like $19 to get it clean. So we looking at we we paying less than $50 for luxury coats. Okay. But but yeah, who 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 need any more convincing that you should be going to the thrift store, girl? Listen here here I got one more item that guys I wore I, I paired it with the own um, jacket when you seeing it on the screen. It's a pair of red pumps. I got these for content purpose only, cause girl, your girl don't want no high heels anymore. These over three inches, and I'm a three inch type of girl. Okay, so I don't wear um, high heels anymore. But I got these specifically for content purpose, and they're barely used, barely worn, and I only paid five dollars and fifty cent for these. So you guys, I'm gonna show you one more item, and you guys, I was on the hunt for a deep wine work bag it had to be le it didn't have to be leather it could be pleather pan leather <laughs> um pants it or whatever but i was specific the color because fall and winter colors are you know for me uh that cognac color deep red and things like that and i knew that every season um i wanted to tr carry this work bag so i was on the hunt for this deep red uh work bag for fall and winter so i found one but I didn't love it, you guys. And I paid, I ended up paying ten dollars for it. So I took it back to the store, believing that I would look up and find the one that I really love. And that's another tip for you guys, ladies. We don't want to have buyer's regret or buyer's remorse when you buy things. If you don't absolutely love it, don't settle. You know what I'm saying? You can change your mind at any time. Even though I, I, um, in the goodwill, you can bring your items back, but you don't get your money back and stuff. You get a goodwill credit to buy something else. So I didn't mind that. You know, I wasn't losing, but certain stores, I think like Miracle um, Thrift Hill, they don't, you can't do exchanges, returns, or anything. So make sure you, that's another tip, you guys, making sure that you know the return policy when you're picking up something. But you can always change your mind. You can sell it if you don't want it, gift it to somebody or whatever, you still won't be losing out. So like I said, I just knew like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find the perfect one. And I took it back and sh lo and behold, like I said, $10 at the thrift store, to me, if I ain't really love it, I ain't really want it, girl. So we took that thing back. And I looked up on this one. I found this one. Um, I only see how I only paid 
um four dollars for it i only paid four dollars because i think handbags and stuff are like eight dollars but i got it on sale half off that day so um i'm showing you it has two compartments um one i put my computer in the other one i can put other stuff and then it also has a zip zipper part and um the hardware on it is silver um i prefer gold but silver is okay because the girl when i tell you i was in love with this thing i can fit so much stuff in it and um it, it looks good it's, it looks like a handbag as well but it's it's a work bag when i can put my computer in my laptop uh, my laptop um my ipad and all the other stuff that you need when you want to work girl but like i said you guys um i just look if y'all can see that i love this red color but red deep wine burgundy um those colors are on trend for 2024 uh for fall and winter so um i, just, I think they are good colors whatever season we're in whatever year we in you can transition these pieces so um but yeah 2024 red burgundy and um wine those are colors that are trending in 2024 so okay style bosses listen this concludes the end of this video and if you um let me know in the comments which one of these jackets that you wore that you like um or what you what you planning on picking up in the thrift stores if you want to go thrifting and let me tell you one more thing you guys i do have a boss lifestyles community private facebook community if you want to join that facebook community in that community i take the girls shopping with me thrifting with me um i show you how to style your pieces um so yeah come on join that facebook group it's a free group but i do have like tiers for patreon um, for other things but girl you got to get in there and see what all uh, it entails but yeah it's linked in the description bar and listen if you like this video share it with somebody and um if you ain't subscribed girl hit that red subscribe button become a part of the fam like follow and turn your post notifications on so you're notified the next time that i go that i post a video and until next time style balls of state <laughs>